Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church, and I'd like to invite you to join me for the next few moments as we reflect together on God's Word. Continuing in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. There's a lot in this one verse, and I'm going to split the verse up over the course of the week so we can look at each piece of it individually. But remember on Friday, I said this was making it very clear that we're being really commanded to not be anxious. And not only to not be anxious, but not to be anxious about anything with no loopholes. And I mentioned on Friday that if you're going to take something away from me, like being anxious or worrying, I need something to replace that with. It's so difficult for me to just stop doing something. If I've got a bad habit, I need a good habit to replace it with. And as I said, we'll go into more detail, but the good news here is we are being given a good habit to replace our bad habit with. And the quick answer to that is we're being told instead of worrying or being anxious, we're to replace that with prayer. We'll go into more detail later this week as to the specifics of the type of prayer that we're being told to use in the place of worry or anxiety. But I love this because what we're really being told is instead of being worried or anxious to give all of that to God. First Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says it this way, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. What a beautiful invitation. I mean, at first, this could sound a little harsh. Don't be anxious about anything. But ultimately, it's a beautiful, beautiful invitation to instead of being worried, instead of being anxious, to give all of that, to cast all of that upon the Lord. He's asking us to do that. He's saying, don't worry, don't carry that burden. Give it to me and let me carry it for you. What a loving, loving God we serve. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting together on the Word of God for the people of God.